Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. I'm Ahab, and uh, I am really excited to bring you a new series in this new year, which uh, is a Journeyman series, or maybe a pseudo Journeyman series. Um, I haven't done a Journeyman save in many, many, many versions of Football Manager. And the reason I say maybe it's a pseudo Journeyman save is because um, I am not really starting out jobless. I have given myself a job, albeit it's a very low-level job, and I'm hoping, um, I don't know which way I'm going to take this save. I'm calling it Journeyman because my manager has just about no stats, as low as you can possibly go in, in FM20. Uh, this is an FM20 save. Um, but I don't know which way I'm going to take it. A am I going to be ruthless and mercenary and as a, work my way up the uh, the ladders as fast as I can, or am I going to stick with the team uh, for as long as I can? And uh, there's a part of me that wants to make this a combination journeyman and uh, promotion oriented uh, save, uh, because as I said, I'm starting out really low level, and I might split off and um, um, I might I might split off and, and just do something of my own. Uh, without recording it, and I'll decide what that is at a later date, depending on how things go. Who knows? I might get fired after the first uh, the first season here, and uh, it'll be true journeyman. <laughs> but without further ado, let me introduce the team I'm going to be managing for the first uh, season and my first contract as a new manager. And da da da, it is Bath City Football Club. And uh, as you can see, I've also updated or changed the layout of FM. Um, I am not remembering the name of the add-on I'm using at the moment, but uh, I will have it in the uh, comments below if anybody is interested. Uh, a couple of reasons why I chose Bath. There's a lot of history in Bath, uh, you know, with the Roman bathhouses and whatnot, going back very, very, very long time uh, to prehistory. So not prehistory. That's no, that's the incorrect term. But a very long time, obviously. Um, and also, look at the jerseys. The jerseys are kind of tight. Um, I like the, the the black and white. It's not quite Newcastle, uh, but it's not. It's its its own thing. And I just, I, I like a purple jersey. There's something about purple that, that just, uh, I guess, does it for me. And um, so we are starting off in uh, Vanarama National League South uh, with Bath City. And hopefully, uh, one of two ways, I will either work with them and take them all the way up the ladder if I can, or uh, I'll be mercenary. It really depends on who comes along. Um, I'm not really, I don't know, if, if you all have, if any of my viewers, as few as they are, have any opinions, go ahead and leave a, a comment and uh, I'll take your input on which way you guys would like to see me head. Uh, but let's take a look at the manager here. They have the journeyman. Uh, let's see here. I am forgetting how to look at my own <laughs> stats. Oh, here we go. Right in front of my face. So look at those gloriously red stats. Uh, let me see here. Man management, three. Tactical, three. Everything else is a one or a two. Oh, no, no. Man management, motivating, three. Dominate, uh, determination, three. So there we go. Th those are my, my high stats. Everything else is a one or a two. Now, I will say this. I was able to get the board right off the bat to start me studying for my national C license. So see how that goes. Um, hopefully it adds something uh, that's useful. But where are we? Oh, I'm really young too. I've set uh, this coach, this coach is named Ahab Journeyman to differentiate from my other saves that I've got going. Um, I didn't want to be like a 70 or 80 year old manager, um, you know, further on down the line, depending on how long I take this save. So. Uh, so I gave, I, I set myself up really young here. I am not, I, I'm not anywhere near that young, <laughs> at least not anymore. Uh, but let's see here, gig and press tactical style and, uh, the four, two, two, two. I'm going to touch on that in a minute. And, uh, reputation obviously is nothing, but, uh, I made myself a polyglot. I am, uh, I can speak Spanish, not fluent in real life. But I certainly can't speak Italian or German in real life. But, um, you know, I, I just thought, you know what, I'll give myself a little bit of a boon. Uh, but that's something I give all my managers, a little bit of a polyglotness. It helps with players and whatnot. It, it 
smooths things over and, uh, with players from different nationalities, etc. So I'm on a contract, uh, basically for one year, 51,000. Um, yes, I know diehard folks will say, uh, what is the, the wage per week? And I haven't done that quite some time just because the way my mind works with my real life work per year is much easier for me to visualize. So, um, let's talk about bath. How am I setting up? This is, uh, a slightly modified version of a formation that I saw on, uh, FM base. And if y'all haven't looked up FM bases, new tactic, um, testing system. It looks like it's phenomenal. And this is one um, that I chose because it was the highest rated amongst all teams used it. And then part of their methodology is they have different levels of teams using it, high level, mid level, and low level teams. This is a tactic that that seemed to work for just about every team in some way or another. So I'm bringing it in here to the Vanarama League South. And um, it looks Fairly straightforward. I mean, there's a lot of tactical uh, instructions there, um, but it seems to be working out. The player positions uh, are fairly simple. Now, I will say this. I have dumbed it down in the defense here just a little bit. I've dumbed it down. I've changed. These are ball playing defenders in here. The normal tactic, I've changed it to CD just to, um, well, just to, to simplify things a little bit. I, I don't want these guys getting the idea that they can run past halfway uh, uh, and take the ball up into the <laughs> into the uh, offensive half of the field, uh, or even the, the final third. So it seems to be playing pretty well. I mean, we've had uh, some friendlies all over the place. We were playing really well against Portsmouth in this uh, this first friendly, and we had them one nothing. And then about the 60 minute mark, they made a bunch of subs, and it was like they brought on their first team. And they scored three goals in the last 30 minutes. But I was really happy with the way we were playing. Um, you know, Portsmouth is Skybet League One. Significantly higher level team than, than what we are. Um, and we have handled all these other teams here uh, in some good friendlies. Really good uh, morale building, it looks like. Let's take a look at the team itself. Um, unlike my Karunia save, I'm, I'm kind of happy with what I have. Uh, relatively speaking, um, in order to save money, uh, because money cash is king on the lower levels, and if you can make money and hold on to it, that helps you out in the long run, and, and that really makes you popular with the board in any save, especially in FM uh, 20 now. But um, I was able to get a bunch of uh, loans, free uh, free loans, and a bunch of free transfers. So uh, Hartridge, Hamblin, Hamblin was already here. Um, Adebzizi, Adebizi, Rio Adebizi. There we go. <laughs> uh, he's a free trans, uh, a free loan. Uh, Oara Edwards and Claudie Lolos, all free uh, loans, and that's not too bad. Um, need to change. I need to set up the training here a little bit more than I have, but I, that's okay. And uh, oh, transfer. history so far. So four free transfers in, uh, five free transfers in, three loans uh, that are I know are free. A couple of other loanees were already here and they are free as well. Um, so we're going to have kind of an interesting season here. Uh, I have just enough players to rotate if I need to, or if somebody gets injured, I've got coverage. Uh, some of these guys can play uh, quite a few different positions. Reigns can play a few different positions. This lone E right here is one of the reasons I grabbed him. Um, Watkins and Stern and Edwards and Lolos uh, can all play multiple positions that we might need coverage for. Unfortunately, Brunt is uh, suspended for this first match, but um, let's take a look at dollar bills, y'all. So we have an overall balance of 42 grand right now, and that's because um, we did a couple of friendlies where we got paid to do that. And I am, um, I'm certainly not opposed to selling the soul of my team during friendly time, or even during the season when there's like an international break, and uh, saying, "Hey, big team, why don't you um, 
why don't you pay us like twenty thousand quid? We'll come and you can you know walk all over us and we will uh, uh we'll just take it. I don't I don't mind doing that. I don't mind doing that. Who knows? Sometimes you might get a a, a surprise game and uh you know you might get a good morale boost out of it. Anyway, where are we? We are right at the beginning of the season. And um, I know I'm just blabbering on about Bass City, but I'm really excited about this save. Uh, I have never done a Vanarama uh, League save. So that's another reason why I just put myself here. Um, I haven't done, like I said, I haven't done a uh, Journeyman save in a very long time, but I've never played Vanarama level games. Uh, the lowest I've gone was uh, League 1, I think. Take a quick look. Yeah, the lowest I've gone is League 1, and that is uh, Coventry. Past couple of, of seasons of FM, I like to take Coventry and build it up uh, into a, a pretty powerful uh, team. I have no real reason to do that other than the, the facility potential is easy to work with there. The, the, the stadium is sizable compared to many other teams. Um, you can quickly get the uh, owner on board. You can see by the purple font here that we have uh, negotiated with Ipswich to be, they're our senior affiliate, and a couple of the loanees in are from them. And um, they already paid us a nice tidy sum for the season. Uh, and um, looking forward to it. So the second half of this video is going to be uh, the match against Dorking, which is kicking off the Vanarama League South. So uh, I'm going to pause here for a moment and be right back. Okay, and we're back and we're uh, getting ready for this game against Dorking. I love that name. Uh, only five subs in the Vanarama League. So I've got a goalie, and I've got my sub set here, Matt Bauer. Uh, I'm just going to call him Rio. Gordon Simpson is a solid midfield uh, replacement. Ashley Harper is my uh, mid-right and defensive right uh, replacement. Kind of going on a limb with no... Um, uh, with no... What should I call it here? With no uh, uh, striking replacement, but that's because Ryan Brunt is on a three-game suspension. Not sure where that came from. I never noticed that in his contract, but that's okay. Yes, I don't care that he's lacking match fitness. Off. Go. Dressing room. Um, blah, 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 blah. Play our game. Well, capable of that. I think they're get some happy. End the team talk and kick off. play. Pause for a second. I want to take a look at. Let's see here. I've got comprehensive set up. Now we'll see how this plays out. Some of my matches end up being really. I've also taken it off 2D. The match engine is going to look really intense because I play at a, a faster clip than most folks do. Oh, already a yellow card for Edwards. All right, all right, a little give and go. Not a give and go. Pass in the space there, I don't mind that. Add cross the field pass. It's going to take me a little while to learn all these guys' names. One thing I'm not looking forward to is the uh, the turnover that happens, or at least that can happen with Vanarama. There's so many players that are of a Vanarama, even a Vanarama National League level, that um, there's no sense in, in 
burning crazy money on players, I don't think, at this level, unless you get a real, real keeper. There we go. Oh! Oh! So close. Off the post. Nobody was there to crush it in. But looks we're looking good here. Last name was Mutt. What? Oh, okay. All right. That works. I'm going to remind myself that we're not playing uh, Premier, Le Premier League or Championship level soccer here. Oh, Watkins, what are you doing offside, buddy? Oh, he's way offside, too. It's all right. It's all right. The team still needs to gel. Oh, gorgeous. That's one thing about this, this particular... Uh, this particular formation, there is just long balls aplenty. It's like the English style of old, and it's just set up really well to take care of that. Hey, all right, the uh, the lone e gets his first goal season. I don't think there's VAR in uh, National League games. I don't know what level it's programmed in at. <laughs> yeah, pass it right back to the uh, the guy who's lagged for an offside. All right, all right. Clark gets his uh, first hands on the ball, at least that we've seen. It's going to be trouble with uh, get that other striker that's suspended in with its low, low sky. Trouble for other teams, I mean. Watkins is offside again. No. All right. All right. All right. I just like the way this formation plays so far. It's just a, it's a solid, just feel like the chances get made, and uh, they're good chances that are that are made. Now, to be fair, it's the first game of the professional season. Friendlies aren't really nothing to go by, but see what, I, what happens, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 games from now. Offside. Just I gotta change the corners. Nice punch. Lolos running with it and gives the ball away. It's alright. Let's pause here. Tactics corners. Uh attacking. Yeah, we're not going short. We're gonna go. post. And we'll go edge of the air. Stir it up. And with this one, this is... I've seen this happen in my La Liga save with Karunia as well. Um, where the short person, the <laughs> short person, the short receiver passes it right back to the kick taker. The corner taker and it's an immediate offsides it's like come on what what level of intelligence do you have to have oh shoot all right demand some more here guys what level of intelligence do these players have to have to not pass it right back to the corner taker for immediate offsides oh is that two yellow cards in like two minutes for us? Oh, 
Dior is way offside. He was way offside. What are they? What are they thinking? Manus with the corner. Oh, oh, just pulled it. See, I just I'm liking all the moves. I'm liking all the moves. Nice tackle. Pass back. Oh, <laughs> over the back stands. Oh, that was just great. <laughs> oh. oh, just offside, Watkins. I don't mind you pushing it. I don't mind you pushing it. That's all right. All right, so these guys are pushing up the right side there, or at least my left side, which is really why all this open space is back. Oh, what a rocket. What a rocket. Good save on that part of their keeper there. Kicked dorking. I have to look up the the where that name came from. All right. Dressing room. Four, six, four, three, six, four. Not happy with the performance out there, guys. But much more from you. Believe in. All right, so we got a good response out of these guys. It's good. Start the second half here. Yeah, pressure that keeper, get him to kick it out. Oof. Hey, all right. Austin came back and got that ball nicely. All right. Corner, corner. Ball movement still nice. That was not a good corner. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that guy got right in the way of it. That would have been a great goal. <laughs> oh, man. I, I love. I love. I've seen lower league saves, uh, other other YouTubers' videos out there. Um, there's just some funny stuff that happens in lower leagues, like the uh, the back and forth tackling that just happened there. All right, let me take a look here and see what's going on with the instruction. Russ is running. So, correct wide. It's going to leave it at that, I guess. Because the guys are taking shots. Great, there goes Gosling. That is exactly... Exactly... What I was worried about. So let's see here. Let's put in Jordan Simpson. Let's see. For in the right. First to be in a right. Oh. Nope.
get pep talk. Yeah. Yep, he was outside. Thank you, linesman. Thank you, Linus. All right, I'll take that corner. Oof. How close that was. Missed that by a mile, thankfully. 16 shots with seven of them on target. There we go. There we go. Oh, should have passed that out, Hamblin. But that's what I want to see. Focused? Oh. Oh, okay. Corner. I'll take it. Yes. Yes. Other striker scores a goal off woodwork. Off the post. We'll see here. Edwards crosses it in. Lolos, nice header to Watkins. Watkins off the post. All right, let's see if we can keep this up. Shout some praise here. They have to play so far back with the way we have our guys set up. Nice tackle from their guy. Got the ball back anyway. Poor shot by Edwards. Ah, <laughs> what a trap and, and shot by Lolos. All right, three to one. Off the chest trap and just right in the corner. The bottom corner. Take that all day long. Hamlin, a little praise there. Lolos, another one there. I don't want to praise him too much, but this is just the first game and we're doing really well. Granted, I don't think we're supposed to lose to Dorking, but that's all right. All right, let's um, let me do some subs here. Stern is tired. Actually, Harper in. Significant drop in quality there, but that's. And is there any. Batten's starting to get tired there. Um, put Bauer. Just kind of rejuvenate the middle there. I think there's much to come from both of you, from the talk. I will say the, the one thing that is pleasing and frustrating at the same time is the fact that these team talks... I don't think I've really changed my team talk in, I don't know, five years, seven years of, of FM. Like Once I got it figured out, it was just 
there isn't really anything that that is ever different option wise occasionally there's some different special options that they put in in fm19 and they put them some new ones into fm20 that are a little bit more apropos for specific situations but in general they are the same and i i find that frustrating because you know i kind of want something that's a little bit new and different but it's pleasing because it's one aspect of the game that i at the same time don't like i don't like the morale management uh that i have to do constantly um kind of takes away from the rest of the game in my opinion but it is what it is it's part of the game and i've got to slog through it because i love the game itself <laughs> All right. All right, Harper. Harper to Watkins. Give some praise here. Give some praise here. Four to one. Harper. Watkins. Firm that shout. All right. Harper goes after the ball. Nice late cross. Oh, a little deflection helped it there. Ah, all right. Well, Harper still gets my, my plus there. Uh-oh. Oh, all right. A throw. Got some big throwers on this team. Oh, is it a penalty? It is a penalty. And we get a fifth goal. Lola gets Lola gets a hat trick in his first match of the of that wasn't even gonna play him. All right. And that'll wrap this up. Yeah. If there were any Bath City fans there, they'd be whistling or at least jeering for a minute and a half on there. Five to one. That is not something I expected in my opening game. Uh, definitely going to say. Pleased with that. And uh, so. I don't always do individual talks after a game. I will do it in situations that are special. And individual talks after a game for me require uh, 7.8 or greater what I've done historically, and that's just the way I do so. And if it's a game where everybody is in the green significantly, I even take it above an 8. But for those guys... Is with how you did today. And that team talk continue. All right, so we're up on goal differential. That was a crazy game. Dorking gets a negative four goal differential. Uh, dominant Bath City, no doubt. Definitely need to praise. Superb in front of that goal with a hat trick, buddy. All right. One other thing I like to do is um, the day after the game or so, uh, I go back and I praise everybody that had above. Oh, this guy's coming in. All right. Don't remember signing him, but at least he's free. Um, so what I like to do the next day is go back into the game here. I only go into it so that I can don't have to keep clicking in and out. But I go back and I say, hey, your game yesterday was, was good stuff. Ray's last game, for example, Reigns passing was amazing. Uh, okay. Well, I should have just stuck with defense. Normally, I just stuck with the general stuff. So, like, Hartridge barely makes it into the, the cusp there. His last game. 
Raise your defense. All right. He took it like a champ. And Riley Lowe. I'm going to say. Raise the defense. All right. Well. Uh, no. That's here. Let's see. All right. So Hamblin had some pretty good freaking passes. So. Superb. Yep. It's had two chances and two passes. So praise passing. All right. Let's see here. All else I've already. Again, let's tell him. This game. You're superb in front. All right. So that's going to end it here for this particular episode. Great bang and start to the season. Um, I'll come back a couple of games in here and give a status update and see how we're doing. Thanks for joining me, everybody. See you again next time. Bye-bye.